The Monerotopia Price Report segment is sponsored by Local Monero. Avoid using KYC exchanges. Buy and sell Monero directly for fiat, peer-to-peer. Hello, hello. Body, what's up? How's it going? It's really good. How about yourselves? Good, good. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining us. See, I'll keep busy, man. All the time. Y'all are heading to conferences all the time. I know. Uh, no. I can't keep up with this one, I swear. <laughs> we don't know how to say no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I just love good. the libertarian conversation so much. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> one life to live, and we want to spend that life at a libertarian <laughs> libertarian conferences <laughs> for some reason. It is fun, man. It is fun. you know it. You know it, right? Oh, you, yeah. You hang among the good people. people. It's those people, I yeah. remember in 2016 when I first started going to conferences, uh, and Arcapulco was really the first one I went to. And it was a shock that other people in the real world actually existed that thought like I did, you know, because normally you talk to people and it's just like their eyes glaze over. Right. Yeah. In your immediate circles, right? Like you don't really find those people. But now. Yeah. You. And, and like you say last show, I mean, uh, the, 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 the crossover with Monero, with digital cash and the libertarian, uh, you know, movement makes so much sense. Right. And so we're, we're, we're making headway. I mean feel like liberty uh, monero is a lot more known now than it was from when we first started attending these things so making progress yeah i've seen a lot of progress across all fields whether that's um, like the freedom movement starting to embrace monero or whether that's even normie starting to embrace the freedom movement uh we definitely are making progress on all fronts so it's really great exactly how are we doing with price though what's going on with price that is looking good. so um we had a uh, we had a confluence today where we closed the weekly, the monthly, and the quarterly candles, along with um, with options expiry on uh, basically the markets across the board. So it's actually a pretty big close. And what I wanted to see, I tweeted about this yesterday. I wanted to see general positivity, not excessive positivity, but a, a general strong close across the board. Um, and that should set us up pretty nicely for more gains here in the weeks ahead. Um, so we've got the Monero chart here, but uh, maybe we should go to the stock market first because that uh, kind of gives us a little bit of a clearer picture here. So we'll start with the NASDAQ. Um, basically, we're kind of in this upward channel. We've broken uh, significantly above, retested, found support at what was previously resistance and off to the races. Now, the thing that I really liked seeing today was um, we finally broke through this ho uh, horizontal area of resistance where like that was the support and it was resistance. Uh, a little bit of resistance there. And then that was like maintaining resistance for really the past month or so. Uh, so it was a really nice thing that we finally broke through that. I've, I've been waiting to break through this for quite a while. It was hard for me to believe that this run was just over and that we were going to go back to the downside. But we, we seem to have problems breaking through. But as of today, uh, really starting right around towards uh, Wednesday, Thursday. But as of today, we convincingly broke above it. And if we go to the daily, you can see that we basically uh, we, we confirmed the close above it. So this is another thing that I like to do. Um, I picked it up from Gareth Soloway. Got to give credit where credit is due. Um, when you're trying to break a resistance or you're going to break down through support, you want to check out the daily candles. And so right here, that, that horizontal line is important. So yesterday, Thursday, we closed above it. But then today on Friday, closing above it again, that's a really good thing. Uh, that gives you confidence, confirmation that this probably is a real break. This isn't just, uh, you know, it's not just a, a fake out. So another thing we can do is um, we're going to look at some monthly candles today because we've got the monthly close and the quarterly close. So it's kind of a kind of a big candle here. And let's uh, mute some of those. So overall, like this looks nice. Um, this looks a lot like reversal. It looks at least kind of like reversal. Uh, it definitely has the impression that we can keep going up. So that's the NASDAQ. The S&P looks just a little bit different. It took a little bit longer for the S&P to break out because of all the banking troubles and the banks are all rolled into the S&P. Not, not all of them, but you know, they're, the banks never show up in the NASDAQ. They're always in the S&P. So uh, it also broke out the S&P. Let's go to the monthly. So overall, what we're looking at here, the point of sowing stocks is that it's basically risk on. The mentality of the market right here is risk on. So this is a good thing. I do expect that we should continue seeing gains in the stock market. Um, let's go ahead and take a break here and go to Monero because that's really what we want to see, right? So we're still in this channel here, this long-term bear market channel, but we are pressing up against it. And probably you've heard me say before that this is exactly how you break 
resist, re, <laughs> resistance. So we've got our, our lines here, right? You touch it, you touch it again. You kind of almost broke through it, wanted to, came down to a very natural support level. And then we're pressing up here again, like in quick succession, kind of like bop, bop. So, I mean, you, you very much expect the next thing that's going to happen here is we're going to break this resistance and then start moving towards the upside. That doesn't mean it has to happen immediately. It doesn't have to happen next week. Although I do, next week, I do want to see broad follow through in the markets. Like we're, we're not really at a like completely confirmed breakout here in terms of the stock market. So yes, we've had two days close above a significant resistance level, but we still want to see follow through next week. And that should give the market confidence. I, I see a lot of people out there that are still very worried. They're not quite sure. A lot of people have been hesitant and I'm sure that that expiry, the options expiry that happened or happens today uh, and these monthly, weekly, quarterly candle closes that happened today were probably, I have to imagine a lot of players, especially institutional money, was probably sitting out of the market waiting to see what happens. So if we get follow through um, tomorrow, or sorry, not tomorrow, next week, if we get follow through next week, that should set things up very nicely. So let's go ahead and take a look at the monthly on Monero, the monthly candles, just to uh, get a feel for what it looks like. Um, this line down here, I wouldn't regard that as entirely valid. It's just kind of me connecting these two bottom points. And you, you can kind of see like you could easily make the line look like that, or you could kind of make it look like that. So it's it's really, maybe I'll just delete that. But one thing that you can see very clearly here is this rising triangle. So coming back to these points right here, uh, this triangle does seem to make a lot of sense. And I mean, hopefully we're, we're gonna do something that goes, that, that starts moving towards the top side. If we get broad positivity and strength through crypto and all markets, and that's a real possibility, it looks like we could be setting up for a real possibility for continued strength and some big gains uh, across the board. So if that happens, you know, I, I really would love to see Monero getting back to $300, maybe even uh, another top. I mean, the way the way this formation is, you would expect at some point to visit the top of this, probably touch this line one more time down here. At, at some point and then finally break that. We're probably still looking at another, at least a year, probably two years before that actually happens. Uh, the ratio, Bitcoin, XMR versus Bitcoin. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the monthly on this one as well. So familiar chart, uh, we've seen this before, big sideways triangle, we broke through it. We're basically, this bottom area here is still acting as support for us. That should be a pretty strong support. Uh, I'm not too worried about breaking down below that at the moment. Um, hopefully we never break down below that, but uh, we just have to we just have to see, right? We should be gaining against Bitcoin over the long term fundamentally. Uh, I do believe that fundamentals over very long time frames play out and matter. Anyways, we are looking at this line right here, and I do think the most likely scenario, since I, I think the market is going to be going up, I think the direction is up still that probably means more leverage getting put into the crypto market at some point and that probably means that the ratio is going to take a bit of a dip and play in this area so just expect that um you know prepare yourself mentally for it other than that there's there's not too much exciting going on with with the other parts of price we've got um there was a bunch of longs that got opened up last week then they closed but we're still net long we're still well into the net longs and and we can take a look at the price divergences. Like we talked about, I um, I just can't make sense out of some of those big movements that happened over here. It seems like they're accumulating. Maybe they're preparing for the, uh, for the money run, but maybe they're doing something else. I don't know. But at any rate, uh, we're basically kind of oscillating. We spent the past week oscillating lower, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. So nothing too exciting about this chart or too notable uh, for the past week here. But we're heating um, up. We're heating up. Yeah, I mean, overall, the markets, yeah, look like they're heating up. What do you think, man? What's your best guess for price of Monero on Cinco de Mayo, first day of Monerotopia? Oh, man, hang on. Let me pull out my uh, crystal ball. <laughs> my proprietary statistical crystal ball. Hey, let's see how close. This is it. Make your guess right now. Let's see. Let's see. Really? Yeah. This All right. Let me, let's go to the daily. That'll be easier to see. All right. We'll go, we'll go to the eight hour. Actually. Yeah, what's your guess? Let's let body guess first and then we'll. All right, so here's Cinco de Mayo. That's the vertical line I just dropped. Guru over here. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> She's I'm gonna say, I would say 186, but I want to be more optimistic than that. So let's just go for 202. Wow. What are we at right now? We're at currently uh... at 158. Okay. So Cinco de Mayo, I'm gonna call for 202 dollars. Wow. What What was your 186 guess based on? How How did you? It would have been this spot right here. 
the the top of the uh, the recent breakout. Oh, okay. So basically, you know, kind of break out of this, maybe retest it, and then have a nice run, something like that. Wow. And then with the, should, uh, the Narotopia effect, it will take it up a little extra to see. So I got, I got you. I got Narotopia, you. something like that. And, <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that sounds pretty Let's good. See. And then maybe over here in September, the Mount Gox coins. I say, I say we hit. I say we hit two thirty-nine by by weekend end. Wow, okay. <laughs> totally random. All right, I'm gonna put. I'm no, gonna put probably be below. Who knows? Right, we're, gonna, we're gonna add some. Uh, arrow, guys. It doesn't matter. We don't care about the price. It still works, no matter what. The all right, price. there's an arrow with my call. And you, I'm sorry, what did you say, Doug? Two. By saying 239 by the end of that weekend. 239. All right. We're going to put these arrows up here ah. and, uh, and we're going to leave them. And I, and I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. Shit. 237. 239. There we go. Nita, what's your guess? I'm going to go in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> You should do prices right rules and go like 203, you know? Yeah, you should go super low. You should be like 115. Like, All right, so 220 for Sunita is where we got her. Yeah, that's literally what I. Okay. okay. All right. All right, man. <laughs> On air. Cheers, buddy. Cheerios. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll, we'll be seeing Thanks, you soon. Guys. Yeah, weeks. we'll be seeing you soon. Looking forward to it. Oh, hey, let me put out one more thing. Guys, be on top of gold. Gold could be doing good things here. Just know that there could be breakout here. So if you were thinking about picking up some gold, I say you definitely keep an eye on that chart. It, it could be ready to break out. All right. Um, maybe I'll buy some tomorrow with Monero at the Libertarian. I bought, ah. I bought gold backs with Monero gold backs, last yeah. week. The gold Those backs, gold backs look there. so cool. They're really the cool. So we're trying to get them to come down to Monero Topia um, and, and, and sell gold, gold backs for Monero there. That would be boss. Yeah, they're really pretty. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> they're like my beautiful. daughter loves them. Yeah. <laughs> like, screw my Give me those gold backs. <laughs> Too funny. All right, buddy. All right, thank you. Cheers. Buddy. Buy gold. Buy gold. Buy gold. <laughs> this is not investment advice. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. See you next week. You Cheers. Too. Bye. Later. Peace. Bye.